It's a traitor. I speak. Speak. All right. So let's talk the market because you don't want to hear me like, like ridiculous, right? Nobody wants to hear me ridiculous. A couple things I'm looking at, all right? We're going to get Scott Littlefield on from TrendFund.com, technical analyst there and my company, TrendFund.com. Uh, we're going to get him on the, the horn uh, shortly. And uh, uh, he'll talk about his technical take for the rest of the day and, and upcoming. But uh, right now, let me, let me take a look at a couple things. Or let me talk to you about a couple things that I'm looking at, all right? Uh, one is um, this market here, um, a couple things. I mean, right now we're kind of busting out. Um, we're near the high of the day. We look very strong. I would be a little bit leery about running with this. It is a possibility we'll keep going. Um, I said the other. I said yesterday, actually, before, well, Sunday night, actually, while the futures were up. Uh, you know, we might uh, want to test at eleven seventy five on the uh, S and P or on the E minis, and we're at eleven sixty four fifty on the E minis. So on the cash, what are we at? We're at uh, cash. 1166.70. So, you know, we may want to test the upside of that. And um, and uh, that would be about 1175. Uh, I could definitely see us doing that. Um, so I don't think we're going to break down here. But i um, not so sure that we're going we're gonna, to uh, have this amazing rush. If we do push up to about that level, uh, I'd be definitely scaling out of some longs um a couple stocks i'm looking at that are interesting here um one i don't own but i'm about to buy it probably will buy some on the air uh the gmcr uh green mountain coffee roasters all right i don't drink coffee by the way i'm just just to qualify it i don't drink coffee because anybody who knows me knows i'm a little bit excitable excitable boy i'm like Warren Zevon, right? One of my faves. Wow. Right? Everybody know Warren Zevon, right? Excitable boy, they all said. That's me, all right? Well, not really, because I think that song's about, like, some wacko. Anyways, I'm a little wacky. Anyways, so uh, so the thing is, is that... Uh, I have to rip that off. They um, GMCR, why do I like it? The same reason I liked Baidu yesterday... Uh, GMCR has a three for one split. It's a split Uno on May 18th. The trade split adjusted stock is 77.24 right now. I will say last time I was on this show. Okay. I want to bring this up. I predicted that Dendrian would see 40 bucks before May 1st. And I was wrong. So I want to apologize to everybody because it only saw 56. So I was wrong. It was like 37 or 37.50. I forget what it was. And it only saw 56. And I said 40. So clearly I was off by $16. So if you bought it at 37, you're probably saying that guy sucks, right? All right. I just wanted to point that out because I like to, you know, be fair. You know, I'm not always right. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm often wrong. I'll be the first to admit it. But when I'm right, I like to get a little bit, you know, of love. Show me the love. Show a little love to daddy. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I just want to mention that. Um, but GMCR, like it here, okay? I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to call for my clients, but I, I'm just going to tell you that I like it. I think that that it's a it, there's some there's a couple ways to play it that make a lot of sense to me a lot of sense okay so i'm just saying dollars and cents dollars and cents so i'm going to actually i'm just i'm i'm buying some now just so you know i don't know it's probably you know probably like whoa what's this guy doing man no but anyways um so so i like that um baidu is a beast. It's a freak. It's like the, the, the Tim Lincecum of stocks. It's a freak. It's a freak. It's like the Tim Lincecum of stocks. Right? We know. Wow, there's some cool ways to play 
GMCR. I'm telling you right now, man, you should be a member because there's some very cool ways to play it. But I'm just saying. So, all right. Uh, so, okay, so the market here, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm not a big believer in this. I, I liked, I loved the push higher. I, I loved us off the open. I thought that was a total gimme trade. I mean, like that was one of the, one of the gap ups, one of my favorite gaps, gap ups that I've seen in a while because it just, I just did not believe that we were going to like crash and burn today off of yesterday's move. I thought at least they would defend it, which they have. Now the question is, do they, do they decide they want to push us up more? Okay. Um, so we'll see what happens. But uh, so I said Green Mountain. I want to talk a little bit about the euro and gold here. Um, I mentioned already several times that I think the dollar and, and the euro will trade on par. I am short the euro right now. I've been short on and off the euro for a while. I wish I had like taken my original like 40 count lot or whatever it was and held it all this way because I would be not on air with you. I'd be sipping pina coladas in the Caribbean or something right now, a gazillionaire instead of suffering, suffering, suffrage. Um, but need be that as it may, I still think there's time for you to short that sucker, crush the euro, crush it. Um, it's really kind of disturbing how they did what they did. Well, it's disturbing that they did what they did anyways, because we can get into that's a bigger conversation. But, uh, you know, we have now as a world decided that we were going to inflate, inflate ourselves into oblivion. So that all the people who can't afford to eat right now, they're really not going to be able to afford to eat five years from now. They're going to be like, like, hey, let's go to McDonald's. And then little Jamie is going to say, yeah, but mommy, a Big Mac is $749.95. And mommy will say, yeah, but there's a special today. It's $722. Okay. It's but seven hundred twenty-two dollars U.S. It's fifteen thousand euros. <laughs> All right, so that's just my little doom and gloom report. Okay, I think we are like totally toast, and it's just a shame that there's no one out there that anybody's listening to. There are people who who are kind of sounding the alarm. It's just that nobody kind of wants to listen. They're all like, hey, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, we, we, uh, we, uh, uh, we're just going to do what we're going to do. Okay. So, all right. So, so now, uh, so now here we go. So today I talked a little bit about I'm not a buyer here. I mean, uh, there's a couple little things to look at, but I, I'm not a buyer here. If anything, I'd be scaling out of my longs. I, 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 I like I said, we could, you know, we could rush, but I, I just, I'm not, I'm just not loving it. I'm just not loving it. In fact, while I'm on the phone with you, I'm going to sell a couple things because I got long like Netflix this morning and I'm up on that. I'm up on a few things. So I just want to get at, oh, Netflix, nice. So I want to get out of that or out of most of it, probably sell like half here and see what happens. But, you know, I want to scale out. Um, remember, you know, if you're trading, you know, you don't want to be attached to this stuff. You don't want to go, oh, you know, I bought Baidu yesterday. I'm up 45 points or something like that, which is what I think you would be up if you bought it on my call yesterday. And, uh, you know, we don't, we're not holding it forever, right? You know, that's not the goal. The goal is not to buy this stuff and just hold it forever, okay? It's not, not what we do. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I do. That's not what I do. I don't do that at all, really. I don't. 